Adam Lerner, and today I want to talk to you guys about how to blow out that background, how to get that high key, pure white, beautiful, solid background for a portrait when it's not quite pure white when you started out. Now, as you can see, we've got this portrait I did of my friend Larry. Um, he needed some portraits for business and Facebook and LinkedIn and all that kind of stuff there. So we had him in here, pulled out the Hasselblad and the Einsteins, and bam, we got this. And this is just a little bit lightly edited there, cleaned up to a degree. But what's really killing me, what's really glaring to me is this gradient we have on the background here. You know, it's kind of whitish over here and it kind of gets gray and maybe a little bit kind of yellowy over there. And I really, really want to deal with that because that's not something I want to keep. Now, a couple of different ways this could happen. One way, you know, we could just bring it into Photoshop and we could do a layer mask and we could do a whole bunch of different things there, which I would certainly encourage anybody to do, uh, particularly if you're really versed in Photoshop and or you're looking to learn how to do that stuff. However, there are tools in Lightroom that allow you to do this fairly easily. So I want to show you guys what I am talking about here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up an adjustment brush by hitting the K key, okay? K brings up the K, K over here. Now you can already see, I've already done some teeth whitening there. That's what that pin is for, okay? So now I'm gonna create a new adjustment brush and I'm just gonna call it Dodge, okay? Because we are gonna be Dodge, excuse me, we are gonna be dodging, we're gonna be brightening. Okay, now, a couple of things to keep in mind, okay, with the brush tool, okay? Number one, I want the size of my tool to be pretty big and that sounded really weird and really strange and for all you crazy pervies out there don't even think about the jokes that you're thinking in your head but i want my adjustment brush tool to be very big okay so i'm going to make that let's say i don't know 32. okay so that's nice that covers a pretty big area feathering is fine that's the that's that little bit on the exterior there and the reason why i want to feather is because when it when when the brush is going over other areas like you know these these areas around his hair and whatnot i don't want hard lines of where the adjustment brush is going to be okay flow fine at 100 and i want the density to be way down i'm going to bring the density down to like 30 I don't know, 31, whatever, 31, okay? And again, the density, same idea. So that as far as when we're, when we're meeting up with these other areas here, going from the background to this foreground bit over here, or you know, my subject, I don't want there to be really harshness over here so that it blows out the areas that are nicely fading back, okay? And the last thing I wanna do is I want to auto mask, okay? So what that means is that as long as my pin, which is that little plus sign right there, as long as the pin is being dragged and selected in the background area, it will only affect the background area, which means that if I, if I choose to, to, to do that, and I don't touch anything around here, only the background will be affected and be lightened, okay? Double click exposure so that this tool, all these settings have been completely eradicated. They've been eliminated and we're applying nothing. Now, I'm also gonna hit the O key, so that will show me the overlay, okay? And I'm just gonna paint right now. So as you can see, as I'm painting, all right, I it is masking so that it's not painting over over Larry over here, okay? So long as this pin is is dragging on my background, okay? I'm not painting. Now, the reason why we painted over the shirt here is I can only guess because we don't really have a hard edge over there. We're gonna clean that up. So let's just keep painting. We're just gonna paint over his head and gonna paint the whole perimeter here. And as you can tell right now, I'm really not affecting anything, okay? All I've done is just painted my brush into the background, okay? So now we've got a nice pink image, big deal. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna clean up this area, okay? So I'm gonna zoom in there, I'm gonna hit the Z key, and we are dealing with a nice large Hasi file here. And right here along his collar, where it really couldn't differentiate this edge to, to go from foreground to background, I'm gonna hit the minus key, which allows me to erase, okay? So that you can see kind of like how that plus sign becomes a negative sign, okay? And I'm just gonna race over this pinkish area that I do not want to be um, blown out, okay? I don't wanna lose the detail on his shirt right here. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay, very good. And I'm just gonna 
click the overlay back right near it just to kind of kind of kind of compensate for that just to keep that edge really nice there beautiful perfect that's just what i wanted okay so i'm going to zoom out hitting my z key boom and i'm going to turn off my overlay by hitting the o key okay so now nothing has changed all i've done is i've i've basically created an adjustment layer with my brush over the entire background i'm going to select that pin okay and now I'm going to actually make my edit. Okay, so I'm going to take the exposure I'm going to bring that up and I'm going to keep bringing that up and I'm going to bring it up to about somewhere around there. Okay, I'm going to desaturate this probably completely. Boom, just like that. And I also want to just take the color temperature and I want to cool things off because there's still a little bit of warmth over there, it's still a little bit yellow or orangey. And I'm just going to keep going down to somewhere around there. And boom, there we have it. We have a nice blown out white background. And we still retain plenty of the edge detail over here. So I'm going to hit the K key again. That closes my adjustment brush. And there we go. So now let's look at the before. And the before, you know, this actually this before takes us all the way to the original file out of the camera before I even edited it, okay? This is the before and this is the after. And you can see the, the, the difference on the exposure of Larry is very, very minimal, okay? The, the fundamental difference is on the background. Now that the background is so bright, maybe I'll just pump the exposure up just a little, little notch like that, somewhere around there, you know? I mean, that, that, looks, that looks really nice. Um, maybe just add a little bit of extra contrast and just something like that. Actually, I'm gonna just undo the contrast because I kind of like it like that. So there we go. So that would be my edit there. So for all you guys out there that are wondering, how do I clean up that background? You know, maybe I shot it against the wall. Maybe I didn't have my high key lighting in the background set up exactly right. It's, it, obviously it's better to get it right. Um, you know, and, and again, in this session, you know, we further along, we had perfectly, perfectly blown out white background. But for this particular one, we didn't, and it's not such a big deal to clean up. So there you go. That's how you do it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll see you soon.